That's treasure like your energy sells you, apes. Oh, that's where you'll all end up. come to San Pedro, but I didn't exactly have a choice. I heard there might be a job going on one of the deep-sea tugboats that anchor around this part of the Spanish coast, waiting for the heavy weather. I suppose rescue towing sounds heroic, but they're in it for the money. Dutch ships, English ships, they fight the sea, the wind, and each other. Rough, dirty work. And this place doesn't look like much either. Like I said, I didn't have much choice. Por favor, Matt. Oh, yeah. Inglés? Yeah. This is the bad way, man. You speak English? Oh, very good. Perfecto. You don't think so? Yeah, maybe you can help me. I understand that English ships put in around here. You got certificate? Yeah, I got the certificate. No, to work on tugboats, I mean. Sure. Oh. Hace frío. Cold. You don't think it's cold? It's not too bad. Ah, not too bad. Look, I'm dying through these. <laughs> We go somewhere, eh? You mean for a drink? Yes, thank you. I would like a drink. Come on. These uh, deep sea tugs, are they always here? Oh, all the winter time. Via Vizcaya, you know, plenty of traffic, plenty of storm. Last night, ooh, they get a the bigger wind. SOS, they go. They go like hell. They save ship. They get big money, you know. Perdone me. Crew all get rich on bonus. That's why everybody else here tried to get job like you. But you, you got certificate. Um, how much is a bonus? Oh, never know. Depends how far out the ship in travel, how much in travel. What's the English captain's name? Bell you. Bell? But don't worry. I introduce you to someone else. Uh, hey, you, sir. Uh, Mr. Gordon. Oh, thank you. Hey, he just come in, sitting at table there. Mr. Gorman, second mate on Fury 2. Very good friend of mine. I'd like to meet him. Uh, Mr. Gorman. <laughs> Mr. Gorman. Please. How's Lucas then? Oh, bad. Close to in. Hospitals. Huh. They stink of sickness. Yeah, well, you know the Dutchies are back. Yeah, I know. Hey, 
You're joining my room. Capitan, my daughter's Josita. Look, I've got an agent. I don't want another one. I've told you that before. You remember, Capitan, I tell you she's at school in Bilbao. Eh? Well, today, this morning, she comes back. I'm so happy. I, I want to introduce her to everybody. How do you do, Alita? Muy bien, gracias. I talk English to the captain. She's a very young. Eh? Yeah, so I see. Ay, que bonito. Ooh, how'd it get into the bottle? Theory Segunda. It's your ship in the harbor, eh, Captain? Do you like it? Oh, yes. Well, you can have it. I made it. And I can make another one, see? You made it? Muchas gracias. It's all right to take it, Papa? Oh, I, I, I sure, sure you can take it. Sit down, my dear. Have a drink of something. Oh, this is not necessary, Captain. I'll go on, sit down. Oh, yeah. Yes, Captain. <laughs> Well, Josita, this is the great Capitan I tell you so much about, eh? Yes. You know, Capitan, always she write to me she wants to see you. Eh? Now you see him. Yes. You know, Capitan, she does not know anybody here in San Pedro. She's, she's been away for a long time. Uh, Any time, Capitan, you feel the need for the young company, I, I trust her with you. She, she dance well and she sing well. Papa, please. Captain, don't listen to him. You know how I sing? Like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you the sort of details, but two were drowned and one was crushed. And before we could put her out, the Dutchies had her. They fired a tow line across her and took her right from under our very noses. The tow line, when she break, you couldn't tie the knot? <laughs> and not in an 18-inch tow line. Oh, how old are you? Just a slip of a girl. And all new to you, eh? Let me see those eyes. Papa is gone a long time. Oh, he'll be back. Oh, this dirty comic hell we make for ourselves. Oh, to be young. Listen, the Duchess are back. That's Mulder, the great big foghorns come back to Galote. Boy, 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 shut up! Shut up for the captain! You know, if I don't go down there, he'll think I'm sulking. Look, we've got her in the bike. We've registered. We expect a big reward. Enough? Yes, senor, claro. All right. Everybody drink. Maria, the beer is on me. A toast. Cross it for Captain Mulder. Cross it for Captain Mulder. 
my friend, Captain Bellew, who so kindly gave up tow to his old friend, Captain Mulder. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how's it going then? Fine. I need a, a co-investor for a little poker game. You still want that job on our ship? Not with the drag. Well, I'll take uh, 50 bucks, 20 quid. What do you got? I've only got for All right, 2,500. Tomorrow, I'll take you to see the captain myself. OK. OK. What a market. Every Thursday. So today must be Thursday. I don't see a second mate, friend. He said he'd be under the clock at 10. To pay him before he gets your job is a big mistake. He looks at cars. Now, I don't want to give you a job. Cash on delivery, that's Fernando's way. Don't you worry. If he doesn't find me, I'll find him. <laughs> She's the only man I ever knew. 
And she's got more to her than that. See? Let me take this furniture ticket, just to make sure now. First officer. You never told me you were first officer. Uh, I'm not choosy. Now, you mean to say you're willing to sign on as a deckhand? Yep. You know, my first is in the hospital. Yeah, I saw you bring him in hurt. Yeah, fine man, Mr. Lucas. Stay with me for 18 years. And I'm not giving his birth away to anybody, see? I need a job, any job. Well, where have you been? Oh, I've been in yachts. Tangier, Jib, Malta, all on the med. Cigarette, gun running, or maybe worse, huh? No, no, no. All I ever saw in the cargo manifest was tin pineapples and scooter bikes. I just did a job. Well, what, what brought you to this side, anyway? A little argument I had on the last one with a fleet owner. Always pick your enemies, lad. Uh, I don't want to go into detail. Oh, a little sweet little sausage. We've been waiting for you with heavy heart. I, there. There, it's all right, huh? Well, what do you think of a man with a first officer's ticket wanting to sign on as a deckhand? How does that sound to you, huh? I do not think it's right. Why not? Well, because for me, one should always go upstairs in this world and not downstairs. <laughs> hey, you see, there? that's why I like this little lassie. Hey, she's got plenty of spirit, plenty of Spanish pride, see? Hey, didn't your father tell you which way was up? My old man? He was a miner. He died from alcohol. He's confused. He thought the down was up. You should have more respect than that young man. Hey, what's the matter with the party? Come on, drink us. Bring in the vino. Let's have a drink, come on. Vino. Oh, you want to get moving around a bit, huh? Hey, you want to dance with them? Hey, wait until my old knee lifts them up. I'll show you the step or two. <laughs> Captain's a little bit too much. He does everything too much. Don't you like him? Oh, yes, I do. He's a nice man. He has a good heart. Yeah, I suppose he has. Don't you think so? Yeah, sure. Look, uh, if I'm in the way between you and your, your captain, I can go. But he's not my captain. He isn't. You don't dance in time with the music. again for anything but cleaning the decks and I'll break them over your stupid heads. What do you think they were trying to do? What are you doing on this ship? He's your new deckhand. And I want him to you right. Name Abel Euston. Abel Seaman. Be careful now. You've got a tough man on your hands. So you're Houston, and you're tough, are you? Thanks for turning up yesterday. How'd you get aboard? Bribe the old man? All right, Laden. Show him where to stow his gear. And remember the captain once him treated right. Aye, aye, sir. Well, go on, Larden. Show the Duke to his suite. He can rest till cocktail time. Captain's orders. This way, your lordship. <laughs> <laughs> Man, somebody's sure taken a pasting out there. Hope they got our phone number. Why don't you use those things to spot some of the Spanish pops on shore? Give them our telephone number.
Pretty fancy brushwork you're doing there, Duke. Yeah, I've been practicing. Take a look at this. Okay. Well, well. The old man's bringing his little piece aboard. That's not in the rule books, is he? What's he up to, the old ram? I think it's the second childhood. <laughs> Can't beat old Mulder's time at sea, so he's trying to do it ashore. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, your lordship? I think it's none of your loudmouth business. <laughs> And here's the guts of the ship. She burns black muck 20 million years old and breathes out fire and blasphemy. Right, Dickie? Right. And there's her heart. Power enough to drive us if it were 10 times as big. Yes, there's enough horses and those pistons to tow one of the queens if necessary. Horses? <laughs> it's a technical term, miss. We don't really carry horses. You don't have to explain it to her. She's not stupid. Oh, of course, I know this is a tug boat for tugging. You carry the horses in the cattle boat. Uh, from you? <laughs> You've seen enough, miss. Up you go. All right, all right, you men. Tend to your jobs. You can join us for a bite in a half an hour. Take my coffee in the cabin. Would you like to come along? I've got a surprise when I show you. Yourself comfortable. Gracias, senor. Up. Up. Mm. Now I'm very comfortable. Just that on your bed so hard. A book. Such a fat one. Oh, that's just on the outward there to read when I was. The Adventures of Don Quixote. By Miguel Cervantes. Oh, Captain, you read the most famous book ever written by the most honored writer of all Spain. <laughs> the best part is Sancho Panza and a little burro, eh? <laughs> and when Don Quixote, he thinks... Uh, the, wind, know, the, wind. the windmill, the windmill. <laughs> yeah. He's an enemy, and he has a fight with it with his lens. <laughs> I just want you to know that... These are my surprise. Oh, how stupid of me to forget. Oh, I um, love the surprise. Oh. oh, let me open. I love to open the packages. Well, there you are. Look at it. What's in this one? Look at it now. Anything so beautiful. 
you put them around my neck, please? Sure. This is only the start. There'll be more. Bigger and better. Oh, no. This will be always the best. My first. Do you really mean that? Oh, yes. What's in this one? Have a look. Can I? Oh, I shall never offer you the thanks. Oh, I never had a dress like this. Oh, it's beautiful. I only hope it fits. Oh, I'm sure it does. Oh, sure. May I try it on now? What, here? Yeah, sure, why not? Behind there. Look, like this. But first to take this one off. Well, try it on when you get home. I cannot wait to see it. No, I think I will do it now. But you must not try to come behind there. Even now, my father would be very angry. I'm all alone in a room with a man. You promise? Rosie, you don't think for Just one minute... Just the same. I... You make the promise. You are a gentleman and an officer, and you must keep your promise, I know. I promise naturally, of well, course. Then I will do it. Oh, these, this, uh, these. You, you must take those home. Uh, you see the dress, and that, and the, 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 those, they all go together. Hey, uh, nothing personal, mind you. You don't mind. Oh, oh Captain, they are so beautiful. I, I will try them on. You stay here, you don't look, eh? I will be beautiful, too. Your I'd better go and look at the boilers. Where is she, Doc? Up on deck. Do you want me to go after her? Nah. Let her cool off. Oh. Doc, I did try a thing. But she was so encouraging. Yes, sir. It's a mistake we all make. Why, you? Some plug tobacco. Wait, And the wait. chief puts a bottle in. Wait, I go with you. Well, look what's here. What do you think you were doing? Go, go, quick. Go. I'm sorry, ladies. It's the third-class passengers only. Well, what do we do with the bosun? Put her back up. Well, I'll oh, check with the old man. You, uh, comfortable? What's the big rush? You tell to your English captain that he doesn't know how to treat a lady. 
Didn't you notice the price tags on those things you're wearing? You go jump in the lake. Really, my dear, you mustn't talk to the Duke like that, you know. Most unbecoming. Jump in the lake? That's very bad language for a young lady. Where are you hear that stuff? Oh, you all make fun. You think it's very funny. Now, relax. You're with friends. Yeah, precisely. Now, you tell the Duke all about it, and we'll sit and listen sympathetically. What do you mean, the Duke? Why are you call him the Duke? Well, that's a silly question. Because he is a Duke, of course. At least, the son of a Duke. Isn't that so, Your Lordship? Ah, uh, a Duke wouldn't have such a job. To work in a ship like this? You are not so, like he says. You told to the captain that your father was a miner. Yes, dear, a miner. Miner royalty. He said that his father died from alcohol. Not alcohol. Protocol. Honestly, I thought you prided yourself on your English. The old Duke died in the service of his queen. It's true. But don't you tell anybody, huh? Now I understand why you fight for me. You think of the blood. We call this galanteria. You were a lady in distress. What else could I do? Absolutely. I think you still fool me. But you help me, so you are a gentleman. Your captain is not a gentleman. Oh, I'm sorry I told you to go jump in the lake. <laughs> It's a west. All right. Hi there, you men. Come on. You sir. Get moving there. Aye, aye, sir. What's he doing? I'm sorry, but I've got to put you ashore. My parasol and my clothes. What's he doing? I'll bring them back when I come back. Don't think too harshly of me, will you? I'm sorry. The bell stopped. What's happening? The wind just stopped. Come on, get in. Oh, come on, what's going on down there? The anchor's jammed, sir. Well done, jammer. I'll make it lively. The dusties are already underway. Mr. Gorman, get out. I want the joint gear on deck before we hit the open sea. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm afraid we're short-handed till the men ashore get back. There's a rust of it, surely. Well, I know that, Captain, but you Don't shut up the Don't your rotten excuses. Get that winch working, or I'll skin a lot of you! Doc, give us all you've got. You've got all I can give you, Skipper. There's the wreck. There's the Van Dyke. We're closer. Hard a port. Aye, aye, sir. She's drifted into our course. Just the luck we needed. Ship's coming, stand by. Spriggan ship dead ahead. Okay, there she is, Bosun. Oh, no. Oh, don't just stand there. Get moving. Nice. Nice cup of tea. You'll feel better. Sit down here. Walker, what about? Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Mr. Gorman, uh, get some shut eye. Thank you, Captain. Any sleep last night? No, sir. Mr. Gorman working you hard? Yes, sir. Well, what do you think of your first turn aboard a tugboat, huh? Be different to those fancy yachts of yours. Not that different. Oh, you're talking an old sea dog, lad. It's different. 
contract tone's all right, but this, their eyes demanding miracles from you. And you've got no miracles to give them. Or a skipper that loses his ship. It's like his own son dying before his very eyes. It's hard, all right. Yeah. I was at sea since I was 12. Topsail schooner. Did you ever try going to a topsail when it's icy stiff and a 60 mile northeast is trying to tear you up? Have you? No, well, sir, I haven't. Well, I have. Well, yeah, I've done a bit of everything in my day, except getting married. <laughs> it caught me suddenly on the outward run that I'm losing my looks. <laughs> yeah. But when I was younger, not many women said no to me, I tell you. And I can still spot any of the so-called men around here 30 years and do as good a job as any of them. I'd say better. You mean the little one? Oh, just a little light amusement, that's all. To tell you the truth, I'm getting a little bored. <laughs> you know, May and September. I need someone a little bit aged, a little bit mellow. But you're so young. I have troubles of my own. <laughs> you and me too, son. <laughs> Handles nice and light, doesn't she? Oh. Well, it's the Fury. Yes, yeah, it's a powerful little ship. Well, we should have taken the tow, that's what you mean. Thinking. Well, I'm no expert. I know that. I suppose your gun running yacht could have done better. Well, if it hadn't, I wouldn't be here talking to you. Well, maybe you got some suggestions. Me, no. No, I never stick my nose into other people's business. Good thing you don't, because if you did, I'd ask you to keep them to yourself. Well, go on. Let's have them. Well, I could be wrong, but more than half of your crew go ashore at the same time. What's left aren't enough to get the ship on the way. Ah, but you've got a list. They never stick to it. Uh, how can I do all the checking? Man? All right, all right. You ask me. Sorry I said it, honey. Well, go on, go on. I asked you. Well, there's too much painting ship and not enough maintenance. You take that winch. Ah, that could happen any time to anybody. Not if you had a regular check routine. Damn it, man, I'd, uh, if I yeah, tried... Liberty to... boat's too slow. You should get a power boat. You don't mind spending my money, do you? Maybe somebody would come back. On the end of a tow line. What time are you coming back? It's okay, I'll get somebody to row me back. I got all day. Okay. Where did you come from? I bought a film to make a picture, see? Yeah, I see. My girl cousin in CV asked me to send a picture of me. But I have only the baby pictures, you know? Have you seen our Castillo? The one behind the hill? Yeah, I heard about it. Oh, it's so beautiful. You can see all the bay. Very good for Mac pictures, too. The captain gave it to me this morning. You can make picture with it? I could push a button. So, that's all to do. Oh, please, you make a picture of me at the Castillo, eh? Right now? Please. Why not? How do we get up there? Come on, I'll show you. Oh. Terrific. Venga, I race you to the top. <laughs> a 
this is quite a place. You like it? Now you can take my picture. Yeah. I'll get down off there a bit. Uh, now, wait a minute. Let's get that tower in the back. Like these? Uh, no, no, d down a bit. Like these? Uh, no, down a bit further. Like these? That's it. Mm. Hold it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it will be a funny picture for my cousin. Oh, it's so good here. I came here since I was little. You're the first person I bring here. Yeah. You, you made up your differences with the captain. Why you say this? When did he give you this? Well, my father bring it from him. He said I'm not polite if I don't take it. We see him tonight. You think it's wrong? You know these things, you tell me. Why not? Get what you can when you can. Where are you going? I thought I'd try to get the Fury in. For the captain. Now it's better, see? You know what we do with the lions, where I come from. Your mouth has still the salt from the ocean. I have taste for you. Sweet. Like grapes. Mine are from land and yours from sea. They must come together always. Oh, tell me I'm pretty like your beautiful ladies in the castles. This is the only castle I've ever been in. And you're the most beautiful. Love me. Speak English here. Ah, oh, what is the difference? All the women point at me already. Oh, the women is that all? No, that's not all. He doesn't give you the job as an agent. He says so. So why I must make myself cheap? Why? You tell me why. Look, Rosita. Oh, let me you explain. You sell me. You think I don't understand? Rosita, please don't shout. Can't you see? Your, your poor old papa is sick. Yeah, my poor old papa is drunk. All right. Yes, yes, I'm drunk. <sighs> I've got so much trouble, Sosita, you don't know. You think it's easy for me, my own daughter? You ask me, well, I tell you, yes. It's easy. Sosita. Sosita, little one. Sita, 
You remember when you were a little girl? Always you're talking that one day you would live in Barcelona, Madrid, with a, with a lovely dresses, with a, a fine house. Is, is this what you want now? Papa. He's an old, old man. All right, he's an old, old man. So much the better. How long can he live, eh? His wife would get the boat. She would be rich. Oh, Sita, you could live in Madrid like a Marquesa. And then you can marry who you like. I want this for you, eh? Poor old papa. A little pension. That would be enough. Eh? Come, Rosita. Come. For me. Please, get ready. Eh? Papa. I can't. Not tonight. Pesetas, eh? Make it 10,000. I'll take the English one. You Dutch miser. <laughs> With your lucky on it, and that makes me rich. <laughs> all right, we drink on that. Ah, oh, that hardy stuff. Uh, it's a bet, it's a bet, all right. Now you get stood up, eh? Me stood up? Oh, that's a laugh. Well, then why you eat alone, huh? You know, you're too old for a pretty young girl like that. Maybe she go somewhere else for a lively time, eh? Why, you ancient crocodile? I'm still in the cradle compared to you. Yeah, just the same. Your ship is too slow for me, and you're too slow for her. You should settle down like me. <laughs> A nice fat frau in Amsterdam, eh? <laughs> You'll never see the day. I always pick them and choose them. Yeah, but they got to pick you, eh? <laughs> oh, but on me, me, on me. Your father-in-law, Jonathan. Speak nicely to him, eh? <laughs> Capitan. So gone. Where's Rosita? Yeah. I've been waiting here an hour. She, she's sick, Capitan. She, she asked me to come. Well, if she's sick, maybe she needs to... Oh, no, 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 not sick. You know, upset. She, uh, she don't want to come out. Upset about what? <laughs> well, you know what happened on the boat, eh? <laughs> oh, I thought that was all taken care of. Oh, see, si, see, si, but... Um, well, she's a Spanish girl. She's got to make a lot of noise, eh? She, she get over it. Um, only... Only what? What are you getting at, Salgado? Well, Capitan, she lose faith. She think you are no longer serious, that uh, you not have other respect. Respect? Oh, that's not true. A young Spanish girl, a good like her, she, she, she got a funny ideas, you know. She say she go out with a man every night if, uh, if he's at the fiancé. That's different. But like this, Everybody talk. Hmm. Hmm. So that's how it is, huh? Yes, Capitan. That's how it is. Well, how do you know she'd accept me? If I asked her. In our country, the girl does what the father say. She, she's very religious. You know the commandment number five, honor your father, eh? Oh, that's not good enough for me. Thing is, how does she feel about me? Look, Capitan, I am her father. She poured her heart out to me. Believe me, if this were not serious, she would be here tonight. With your permission, I will talk to her. I will, I will prepare the way, so to speak, yeah, shall I? Maybe. We'll talk it over later. Yes. Bowman. Miss Captain, you got to the hospital, all right, huh? Yes, sir. Well, how's Lucas? Well, I got there, sir. But he's all right, isn't he? No, sir. He's dead. What? It's about an hour ago. 
They give him another operation. He had a hemorrhage. is dead. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. He's a good man, Lucas. How many years he sailed with you, Jonathan? Eighteen years. That's bad. I'm sorry. Oh, oh thank you, Capitan. I, I will speak to Josita. Don't worry. She will do what I say. Men, we all knew Mr. Lucas either as a friend or a first officer. And as both, his shoes will take a lot of filling. Last night, I was going to signal home for one to be sent out here. But now I've changed my mind. I'm uh, filling the position by promoting the only man aboard with a first officer's experience. Abel Euston. Mr. Abel Euston. I see the ensign. All right, dismiss. We are expecting to meet someone? No way. Oh, nothing. Now let's see how it goes. It feels pretty good. When will you be ready? When is it finished? It's the last day. The day after tomorrow, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Adios. 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 Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Senor, may I speak with you a moment? It's all right? Yeah, go ahead. I mean alone. Can you send your men away, please? He does not send me away. I go if I wish to go, entiende? As it happens, I wish to go. Buenos dias. Smile. All people watch. They know I am fiancé to the captain. So, what's the matter? Oh, please, don't pretend to me. We must go somewhere and speak. What for? You got what you wanted, I'm happy for you. Oh, you don't understand. I'm a Spanish girl and my father... Buenos dias. We cannot speak here. We must go to somewhere. There's nothing to say. You're afraid of the captain. You're afraid of your father, so we're quits. You're afraid, I know. I will tell to the captain myself why I cannot marry him, because of you and me. Look, Josita, you can do what you want to do. But if you hurt that old man to get your own way, you'll end up as you started, with nothing and nobody. You would go away from me? No, I believe you couldn't. Ah, hola, Miguel. Señora, conoce a mi hija, eh, Josita. Vamos todos a la iglesia, eh. All right, put him away now, lads. What are we doing up here today, Buzz? Just obeying orders. He's all having our Sunday kip. I don't know any more than you do. Morning, Mr. Mate. Crew all present waiting, sir. On your feet, man. Ah, thank you, Buzz. Now, what I gotta say won't take long. I've been on the ship as one of you. I've had a chance to see how things are done. There's going to be some tightening up. Oh, give us a favor. <laughs> Person, there's a man over there sitting down. Stand him up and face him the right way. Walker, on your feet. Look lively. It's Sunday. Sunday's a day of rest. Yeah, it always has been on this boat. I said, on your feet. Oh, oh, you're talking to me both. Oh, sorry. So you think Sunday's a day of rest? Well, that's your first mistake. I'm splitting the ship's crew into two halves. The first half goes on shore. When I blow the ship's siren, the shore party will head back for the ship full speed on. Good morning, Mr. Houston. Morning, sir. You don't want me to come do you? No, sir. Well, let's go. I won't be long. Carry on, will you? All right. I'm going to practice both halves of the crew on getting on the way alternately. The first half to do it in four minutes or under, 
They can go ashore when we finish. The losers stay on board. All right, Bosun, get them moving. Gitano español, su blanco pañuelo, las trozas tendrá, que no hay otra novia, más guapa ni honra. Ay, tan y tan y mi tan y, ay, tan y tan y mi tan, ay, tan y tan y morena que corren tus penas la sangre real. Ay, tan y tan y mi tan y, ay, tan y tan y mi tan, ay, tan y tan y morena gitana más buena no hay un día habrá. Rosita? from waiting. What do you think I've been doing? You worry Josita doesn't come, hmm? Why should I worry about a thing like that? When I don't hear from you at all, I think maybe it's gone and will never come back. Then, because I'm a Spanish girl, I must do as my poor old papa ask. I must either marry the captain or die. It's not a very good choice for your little Josita, eh? Well, maybe you won't have to make it. How can we do? Me with my papa and you with your captain. How can we see each other? We can't. Not while we're here, anyhow. You mean we go away together? Look, Josita, I've, I've got nothing. I don't even know where to go next. The only thing we'll be sure of is that we be together. That's enough for me. Only... Only what? Only I don't want to hurt my father too much. But if it's the only way... Well, what do you say? I say the only words in my heart. Yo te amo. What's the reports, Vince? Full gales. All the way from Iceland right down to the Bay of Biscay. Uh, about ten minutes ago. I could have sworn I got the tail end of an SOS. I've just been trying to get it back. Nothing happening on the Dutch ship. They can't have got it either. You know, this is the time it would happen. Just when Mr. Practice makes perfect use and takes off and we don't see hiding a hair of him all day long. Yeah. They don't reform only so long, do they? Hey, speak of the devil. See what I see. What's happening? Oh, there, look. Bottom of the hill. Well, well, well. Romeo and Juliet. Practically in the skipper's parlor, too. You gonna tell him? Well, I consider it my duty, both as officer and as friend, don't you? Judas tongue, 
Mr. Houston. Where is he? Huh? When he uh, when he comes back, you send a report of me, will you? Yes, sir. You see, I, I want him. I, I, I got to see him, you see? Yes, sir. Hey, come on, open that bottle, will you? Come on, Daniel, you can do anything around me. There it is. Ah. The end he comes back, you tell him I want to see him, will you? Yes, sir. All right, go on. Just tell him I want to see him. Tell him I want to see him. And I'll, be... oh. and I'll be waiting for him. I'll be waiting for him. Is your man in here? Oh, he was yelling for you all afternoon, mister. But he must have put away two quarts in the meantime. Nothing will wake him now. Did he say what he wanted? Well, he was steamed up about something. He tossed Mr. Gorman out of his cabin. I thought he'd stove in the ship's side. Yeah, well, let me know if he wakes up. Right. So you Scranton? Yeah, an American freighter. Ship's register says she's 12,000 tons. This position right? Well, I think so. She, she's right in the edge of the radio range. Well, why don't you try the skipper? I've got no authority. Well, I, I knocked on his door. He's not answering. Oh, no. It's the Van Dyke. She's picked up the message. What are we going to do? Tell Mr. Gorman to get the ship underway. Blast the sign for our men ashore. All right, sir. Party's on board. We're going out. You've been promoted a captain now, mister. You're wasting your time. We've got another 300 miles south. We'll be there an hour ahead of you. Money talks, captain. Where's your skipper? You name the bet, it'll be covered. Okay. 10,000 percenters. You're on. the Dutchies. Back there somewhere. What are our odds? All against. The faster, they've got a captain. You lose your 10,000, Houston. Look, if this freighter abandons ship, it'll be a lot of money. It's your bonus as well as mine. How about forgetting the grudge until then? Why should I? You sucked up to the old man for my job. Will it help you if I tell you that after this run I'm through? That's right, you are. Only you don't know how much. All right. On that subject, what did you say to the captain that made him throw you out of his cabin? You want to know? I asked you, didn't I? I told him he got a land number for a first who couldn't command a canoe in a duck pond, but a specialist in mountain climbing. You don't write here anymore, Houston. Not with anyone. Yeah. 
up. That's the Van Dyke, all right. She's creeping up on the Fort B. Should be five miles ahead by daybreak. Well, here I am. Dickie, what's the maximum revs you can give us for the rest of the slam? Oh, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Forget it. I'm asking you how much. Well, we had a refit last That's month. That's all I wanted to know. I want maximum from now on in. Well, we held them. They're still asleep. Why don't you try getting some sleep? I am. Yeah, later. They're abandoning ship. Number one old, filling up with gas. Abandoning? That's 12,000 tons worth of salvage. What kind of gas? Well, there's carbide in the cargo and the water's got to it. Do you know what a centrelane gas is? When I was a kid, we used to mix carbide with water to roll tin cans sky high. Very bad. Like a prime bomb there, operator says. He sent out a broadcast, warning. One spark in the wrong place, up she goes. Could be nobody gets her. Look, we've got to get the old man up. We can't go in under Houston. It's the first time he's handled a tug and he doesn't know the slightest thing about towing. You look after the towing, I can handle the ship. He's right, but in your hands, the pair of you. Just keep away from that triple ship. That's all we ask of you. Yes, for Pete's sake. Remember, she's explosive. If the sea carries us into her and we scrape and create a spark, man, I hate to think of it. Come on, Dickie, let's go. A bonus, Goldman. Just remember the bonus. Yeah. There's the Van Dyke. She's past us. What's that? Nothing, it's static. You sure? Yes, it's, it's gone. Got his altering course. She's seen the cripple. Hard over and match a course. Aye, aye, sir. Tish! It was a blip, it's there. We found her. Sage above us. Bosun. Get to gather a crew. Stand by to lower a boat. Right. You can't lower a boat in seas like this. I said you handle the ship, I handle the towing. The Dutchies are backing in. There goes our tow. Doc, make half speed ahead. Get off my bridge, Mr. Houston. Now, look, Skipper, this is an emergency. Get out of my bridge! You're relieved of your duties. Skipper, the Dutchies are trying to put their tow party on with grappling hooks. They're backing in. That's what they think. Give me that wheel. The Skipper must have gone crazy! Sir, you scrape her and make a spark. They say she could blow up. Pull ahead. Have. He's driving us into her. I don't think he can get out of it. Come on, it should explode. He's jumped, damn it. Who? Houston, sir. He's jumped. He's on damn board. It, Houston's jumped, sir. What are we going to do? What do you think we do? Our towing party's boarded. Fire that tow line. Aye, aye, sir. Well, I've heard tell of it, but I never thought I'd live to see it.
that, that, that's how he never put that in his love book. <laughs> Captain. Want me to take over? Wanna go down below, rest a bit? Rest? This is my ship. Back there is my prize. I'm not leaving this bridge until I get them both safe back in Vegan.
Is that better? A little better. But... I'm only receiving your strength, one. Your batteries must be nearly flat. Now listen. Tell the old man. I've got the stowage plan with me. And this crate's loaded with every chemical under the sun. I've never heard of most of them. But there's something in hold number two that I have heard of. Metallic sodium. 36 drums of it. He says the gas is confined to number one hold, but they got sodium stowed in number two. Give me that. This is the skipper. So you've got sodium on there. Have you looked at it yet? Not yet, sir. Well, check it right away. Now listen. Sodium is usually packed in oil-filled drums, and it burns white hot in contact with water. Nothing stops it. And if the drums are damaged, and the oil packing escapes, the best thing you can do is to find something that floats, bail out, and we'll try to pick you up. I'll take a look at it. Uh, anything else? Well, uh, there's just one thing. I think there's someone else on board. Have you seen them? Well, not exactly. Well, don't be a fool. Check that sodium. The lad. Sir? It took guts to make that jump. And if we bring this tow in, I'll see that you get well rewarded. It took more guts to bring the ship alongside, sir. Anyway, thanks all the same, Skipper. Was it something for me? You're... You're not villagers. No. No, I'm Houston. First mate aboard the Fury, too. The, the towing party, Captain. Ridiculous. Never mind, never mind. I'm Captain Kelsa. Captain? Your stowage plan says there's the sodium in hold number two. Sodium? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Well, don't you think we ought to take a look at them immediately? Take soundings in all the holes? Soundings? Everything is well stowed on my ship. But, but sodium... I agree, I agree. One should keep a check on that. Uh, I'll show you the way. with me, Mr.
you robbed from me to Vigo, eh? You have no doubt informed them that I am due a percentage of the prize for standing by. I want you to know, you old goat, that if I did that, you'd be getting twice as much as anything your old tub ever dragged in. Jonathan, I shall report you for piracy. Robbery on the high seas. But I'll settle for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> did you think you could get by without having one? But this time, it won't be beer. It'll be champagne! Champagne for all! Champagne, Maria! Everybody! Come here, Joe. Rosita! Sergana, stay there. See you later. Have a drink. Lad, after your prize, I've got mine. Rosita. Thank <laughs> you. 